So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Olivia, and uh, she's dealing with how to deal with Ethan as a friend. Everybody has that friend that's a bit, you know, the type. That's Ethan. I'm Olivia Perrin, and I'm going to talk to you about how to deal with this friend so everybody is happy. One common misconception about the Ethan is that people view them as extra or annoying all of the time. The more you get to know your Ethan, you'll find out that your Ethan is sensitive, talented and an awesome human being. I met my Ethan here at Phoenix and we've been best friends ever since. But at the start, there was another member of the friendship group. But they didn't return to Phoenix after a while. And let's say Ethan had a harder time dealing with the loss. This led to Ethan developing what he refers to as attachment issues. People view them now as annoying or clinging. But don't ignore your Ethan. Encourage them to socialise with others and ensure that they're, they're comfortable in situations where you aren't there. When it comes to Ethan's emotional side, when he gets upset, it really affects him. Others may not think that he will feel this way, but you'll get, the you'll get the news through text message and he needs somebody to talk to. The go-to conversation starters are the Rocky movie franchise, the 60s to 90s and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If there's anything to take away from my time talking to you today, that they are more comfortable when they're calm and focused. Your duty as a friend is to let it go and move on. To quote Dumbledore, it takes a great deal of courage to stand up to your enemies, but just as much to stand up to your friends, and that's worth 10 points for Gryffindor. Woo! <laughs>